Every gal knows that men really love a woman's legs, right? However, do you know about the one part of a girl's body that's the most important for attracting men, according to Cosmopolitan magazine? It's not what you think. Girls, listen. Just because you may fall head over heels for a guy with dreamy eyes or a smile that lights up a room, men are wired completely different. So that one vital part of your body that attracts men the most, in fact, it's so powerful that men claim they feel powerless when a woman has it. And it's something you can get without going to the store or doing anything drastic. It's not your eyes, your breasts, or even your legs that really drives a man wild. And it's certainly not your outfit. It's your butt. Now, rest easy, my butt used to be my absolute worst body part. I stored almost all of my fat in my butt, hips, and legs. And I'll share how I turned all of that around in a minute. But first, let's talk about this guy here. Cosmo recently hired this guy to spill the dirt on what body parts actually drive men crazy. And in this article, Body Bits Guys Love, this hunky Aussie who starred on The Bachelor in Australia, ranked the female butt as the number one most important body part for attracting a man to you. Shortly after, a friend of mine showed me this story. Can you believe it? Kim Kardashian's husband supposedly dumped her over her butt. Now, when I read this article, even I was skeptical. I thought, well, of course it's true that your butt is important for getting guys to notice you. Every woman knows that. But does having a nice butt really help you attract quality men for a relationship? Or does it just trigger a purely physical attraction in guys? So I decided to put it to the test. I sent a quick survey out to 10 of my guy friends that are good looking, successful, and are guys that most women would consider to be a great catch for a relationship. And I had three of my female friends do the same. And I have to admit, the results of this survey really shocked me. Here, take a look. Okay, so this one I expected. Men are turned off by a butt that looks flabby like this one. Probably not anything you didn't know, right? Now here's where it starts to get surprising. More men were actually turned off by a flat butt than a flabby butt. I know there's a lot of girls just trying to get skinny, but if you look at what guys are really wanting, you can see from the survey that that's not it. When I asked one of them about it, he told me that it wasn't just because having an unattractive butt was a physical turnoff for him, even though it was a big one. It was also because having a butt like that shows that the woman is obviously out of shape and doesn't take care of her body. He told me that in his experience, girls who don't take care of their body have low self-esteem and other psychological psychological issues that make it almost impossible for men to be in a loving relationship. And then he told me this, Andrea, if a woman can't take care of her own body, I don't believe she can take care of mine in bed. Ah! Not only does having an out of shape butt turn men off, it actually broadcasts to the world that you don't consider yourself worthy of love. Wow. Now, before we go off hating men, realize that this is scientifically proven to be in their genes. In fact, you don't want a man who prefers a fat butt over a tight, firm butt. Here's why. A study done on gene expression and what qualities attract specific guys to specific women uncovered some downright shocking facts. It turns out that men who are attracted to tighter, smaller butts are definitely the men you want in your life. The researchers found out that men who were okay with bigger, fatter butts had these personality traits. They liked to be tidy, which is okay, but they tended to have boring jobs, like being an accountant, and far worse, tended not to be mentally very deep and needy in public. They also had lower self-esteem and felt a lot of guilt. Basically, these are needy, neat freak, guilty geeks. <laughs> On the other hand, men who preferred smaller, tighter butts were more self-assured, didn't read sports magazines all day, and were independent free thinkers. In short, these are alpha males who know what they want. And that, the study showed, turns us gals on the most. Now, if you're a little insecure about your butt right now, it's okay, and here's why. I know exactly what that feels like. In fact, I used to hear guys being brutally honest like this to me. 
and yes, dumping me because of my weight and my butt. Here's what I used to look like before discovering what I'm about to share with you today. And this is what my butt used to look like. And just look at my face. Back then, I can remember the only attention I would ever get from my butt was cruel insults that made me feel even worse about the way that my butt looked. Going to the beach was a horrible, nerve-wracking experience for me back then. And it only made me feel worse to see guys worshiping girls who had toned and attractive butts while totally ignoring me. Eventually, it got even worse. Back then, I used to comfort myself with the thought that I had a happy relationship where my boyfriend appreciated me for more than my body, or at least I thought we were happy. Until one day, my boyfriend took me to the beach and forced me to take these pictures of myself. He forced me to pose in this bikini, and then he forced me to look at the pictures. He told me, Andrea, look at yourself. I'm just not attracted to the way your body looks, especially your butt. I felt like a prisoner on that beach, humiliated, embarrassed by the small crowd of strangers that were watching, holding this silly heart-shaped beach towel that I had bought, assuming we were going to have a romantic vacation. And not long after that, he dumped me. I just posted a new video where I tell you the full story of my evil ex-boyfriend, Steven, and how I lost my relationship with him because he was turned off by how my body looked back then. Sure, he was a jerk, but he did me a favor by breaking up with me. However, it did wake me up to the fact that I wasn't caring for my body the way I should have been. And I also show you how I came back from this horrible experience and finally got the body and the butt I always wanted. And you can check it out here. When Steven dumped me, it was truly the worst day of my life. And I spent years hating Steven for what he did to me. I would spend hours on the phone sobbing with my supportive girlfriends while we both talked about what a jerk Steven was and how I didn't deserve what he did to me. And yes, Steven was a total jerk. But after years of being lonely and depressed after he broke up with me, I had to admit an awful truth to myself. When it came to my butt and body, evil Steven was right. Looking at myself in the mirror, I had to admit the truth. I had really let my body go, and I honestly couldn't blame men if they weren't attracted to the way that I look. Of course, most men would never do something as awful as what Steven did to me, but I knew that many of them were probably thinking the same things in their head when they looked at me, even if they weren't cruel enough to say it out loud. And by far, my butt was the body part I was most insecure about. I didn't even want to look at my own butt in the mirror. Not only did my butt have no shape, but I also had saggy chunks of flab and cellulite that poked out at the bottom of my swimsuit. Most of my body fat just hung onto my butt, legs, hips, and thighs. And I had no idea why. I had no idea that there was a perfectly simple reason I was storing all of the fat on my lower body. And I'll reveal that to you in just a minute. Just let me be brutally honest with you. I actually started to hate my body because of my butt. Now, I'm a smart girl. I have two degrees, one in biology and one in Spanish. I was having a great career success. I've even won money on a game show, Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Can you believe that? So I was smart and capable, just like you. However, at that moment, crying and looking at my saggy butt in the mirror, I realized I needed to make a change. Otherwise, the smart and beautiful woman inside would never be expressed on the outside. I realized that not having the body and the butt I wanted was truly destroying my life. It wasn't just about wanting to get looks when I walked down the street or wanting to make my friends jealous. I also realized that no self-respecting man would ever want to be in a relationship with me the way I looked back then. I went beyond not looking physically attractive. The way I looked showed that I didn't care about my body and that I could never be a loving partner to a man since I clearly didn't love myself the way I should. And then I came to realize that my insecurity about my body was holding me back from experiencing even greater career success. I knew that I could be achieving more, but I was so riddled with insecurities about my looks that I was afraid to go for it. And right then, at that moment, I decided that I wasn't going to live my life this way. I was going to figure out how to get a butt like all the naturally thin girls that I envied, and I wasn't going to give up. In fact, I made a vow. Andrea, you will figure this out, and you will come back to that beach one day wearing the sexiest bikini you can find, and you will share the secret with women everywhere. Now. I wish I could say that I found a quick and easy solution and got the body I wanted in weeks. 
However, that isn't what happened at all. The truth is, I spent years after that trying various diets and workouts that all promised to make me look great in a bikini. And I was able to lose a little bit of weight with some of those things, but I almost always gained it right back a few weeks or maybe even just a few short months later. And usually some extra weight came back with all the weight that I had lost. Despite all my efforts, years later, I was nowhere near my goal of being able to be confidently wearing a bikini. What finally turned everything around for me was when I discovered something that scientists call the fat burning switch. I discovered that if a woman's fat burning switch is turned off, it's almost impossible for you to lose weight. And once I learned how to turn my fat burning switch on, I was finally able to get the body I wanted without having to starve myself or spend my life in the gym. I just posted a free video that explains exactly what the fat burning switch is and how you can use it too to finally get the body you've always wanted. Click the button below now to watch that video so you can flip your own fat burning switch to on. In that video, I'll also show you the number one worst kind of exercise that destroys the shape of your butt. I see women doing this all the time in the gym, not knowing that it actually makes your butt look worse. I'll show you what this exercise is and a more simple move that allows you to sculpt your booty to make it look better. And then I'll show you how I finally got rid of my cellulite. I tried everything to get rid of the ugly cellulite on my legs and butt, creams, spa remedies, laser treatments, you name it, and none of it worked for me. However, what did work was when I stopped eating this one type of food. I'll show you what type of food I'm talking about in the video, and I'll show you what to eat instead in order to get rid of cellulite forever. Finally, you'll see how you can get a bikini body even if you have obesity genetics like me. My entire family has always been overweight, and I used to think that because of my genetics, I was going to be cursed with a soft, flabby body no matter what I did. Then I found out that just wasn't true. What I discovered was that by eating and exercising a certain way, I could accelerate my metabolism and become like those naturally skinny girls that I always envied. Listen, I've been where you are. And in this video, I'm going to show you the way out. I'm going to show you exactly how I transformed myself and got the body I've always wanted and how you can do the same. Click the button below now to watch that video.